my channel hit a milestone this week with reaching over 300 subscribers and I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers and I hope you're enjoying these videos I hope you're learning something and I hope it's expanding your horizon for adventure in your life with a little bit of motorsports um, most of my viewers are tractor viewers uh, those videos seem to have the most views um, out of the, view, the videos that I post and uh, haven't done one in a while and in the last tractor snow blowing video I did the viewers were complaining because it wasn't long enough so I hope this video satisfies your need to see this great John Deere tractor in action blowing snow no ballast box uh, my tires are loaded with beet juice and the tractor is in two-wheel drive for this entire driveway cleaning so I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for your support Although there's not a lot of snow on the driveway, probably about six to eight inches, you can see from the video that it's a blustery wintry day in a suburb outside of Buffalo, New York. And it's certainly nicer to be inside this warm cab than in my old 3 Series open station blowing snow. This snowblower was actually on my last three tractors. I had it on a 4110 tractor, a 3034 tractor, and then this 3046R cab tractor. And uh, it works great on it worked great on all of the tractors, but man, it certainly is nice having 46 horsepower on this snowblower to move snow. It works really well.
So in order to back up with the snowblower running, I have to pull up on the PTO engagement button. If I don't do that, the tractor will stall. And my previous tractor, I did not have that safety feature on it. And it really took a lot of getting used to uh, not, being the back, not being able to back up without pulling the PTO button up. Um, I've kind of gotten used to it. There still are times when I do forget to pull up on the PTO button and stall it, but it did not happen today. been operating uh, equipment most of my life and um, there's a lot going on in the operator's mind when, when I'm snow blowing the driveway. Um, I'm obviously maneuvering the tractor between cars and, and my masonry wing wall. I'm also trying not to hit the or ingest the edge of driveway stakes. Um, occasionally I use wood blocking for my trailer to keep uh, that in place during a windy day. Um, we've added another car. My daughter now has a car in the driveway. So there's a lot going on um, when you're snow blowing and you really have to stay focused, especially if you're in a congested driveway. I have a great neighbor and she really appreciates that I clear the snow in front of her mailbox. Um, I go about 40 feet, 50 feet beyond my mailbox and clean the end of her driveway and uh, the snow in front of her mailbox. Occasionally when we get a heavy snow and her plow contractor doesn't get to her, I'll clean up her driveway and um, you know it's nice to have a piece of equipment that you can share with a good neighbor and uh, I enjoy it. So uh, it's my way of helping out. When we've gotten extreme snows, three or four feet, I have used my previous tractor and the snow blower to clean my neighbor's driveways or if a neighbor's been on vacation um, and they do their own driveways, I'll clean it up for them before they return. Please get outside in the great outdoors and, and snow blow your driveway or cut your lawn or cut work in your yard. Uh, I hope to see you on the trail 
riding an ATV, motorcycle, or a side-by-side -side and enjoying life and motorsports and uh, nature. Uh, thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.